Hello, my name is Shannon Burkheiser, and I am the Title IX Coordinator for Cedarville University. My role here at Cedarville is to assist the university in its efforts to maintain a campus community that is safe and free from sexual discrimination and harassment. My office does this through ensuring that Cedarville's policies and processes follow federal and state statutes, providing prevention education for our campus, and overseeing the university's response when a report of misconduct is received. As a university, we develop policies that comply with federal and state law, follow best practices for campus safety, and honor biblical principles. In this role, I have the privilege to come alongside students or employees who are reporting or responding to reports of sexual discrimination or sexual harassment, such as sexual assault, dating or domestic violence, stalking, or sexual exploitation. If you or another student experiences sexual discrimination or harassment, my office is here to help. We offer a number of options for reporting, including phone, email, or walk-in. While the Title IX office can accept anonymous reports, it is important to understand that anonymous reporting might limit the level of care and support I'm able to provide. One of the most frequent questions I am asked is, what happens if I make a report? So let me give you a summary of our process. When a student or employee files a report with Title IX, I will reach out to them through email and offer a time to come in and talk about their concern. If that person decides they do not want to interact with my office, this will be respected. If the person chooses to come in, he or she can bring an advisor or support person with them if they wish. During this first meeting, our focus is on hearing the concern and offering supportive measures that may be needed. I also provide an overview of our Title IX policy and procedures and the options that are available to them. These options range from requesting only a supportive response, requesting an informal resolution process, or filing a formal complaint asking the university to investigate to determine whether there's been a policy violation. Regardless of the path that you choose, I will be available throughout the process as a neutral party to provide support. As the coordinator, I oversee the process, make sure each person's rights are upheld and their needs met as they navigate a challenging situation. In my role, I do not function as an investigator or as the decision maker for our cases. Dr. Chris DeWitt is our Deputy Title IX Coordinator. She assists by reviewing for compliance and with overseeing cases when needed. We also have faculty and staff who are trained to function as investigators and adjudicators who make determinations of whether a policy violation has occurred. We hope that you don't ever need to access the resources or processes of the Title IX office. But if so, please know that we are here to help and to walk alongside you.